video I'll be showing you how basically to use MetExploit and NetAPI export to be able to hacking into Windows XP. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna use what happened basically. We're just gonna use MetExploit module to do some exploitation on Windows XP. Here I will have uh, MetExploit running first on my own attacking machine. So wait a second. Here I go. So MetExploit will be running here, and this is going to be my victim machine. Okay. Know that uh, whatever I'm doing right now is under virtual environment, so I'm not doing it on live environment. There's nothing illegal here. Um, basically, step number one, we have there's a lot of method that you could use to get the IP address of your machine. This is what you're gonna have, what you're gonna use to export it. So in my case, I'm just gonna take it here. Later, I might make video how you could do to eventually take a lot of IP address and use stuff like that. So we start the exploitation. Step number one, um, this is your victim machine. Okay. Um, uh, what happened? We're gonna use an exploit called Net API. So we're gonna do search, <coughs> search um, Net API. So basically, it's gonna whenever I tap this command, what happened? It's gonna search every export which is in the Net Export module, which is included in this. So what we're gonna use for today will be ah yes we'll use the latest export which was released in 2008 Microsoft Service Start Rate of Pack Start Corruption. So to use this export basically it's very simple. Just the command to type uh, for using it is use when you type in export slash windows slash smb ms8 zero sixty seven net api hit and enter once you do that now you have to set up option for the export that you're using so to use this we use the command show option as you can see it's telling you the all host means the target ip address we have to insert the target ip address as we have seen in the machine the target IP address will be basically um, so we'll set it set our host one one seven two dot sixteen dot two hundred and thirty eight and one hundred twenty eight so this is going to be our victim IP address. You hit that enter. Now what I'm gonna do basically as we are uh, in penetration testing, people who are already doing it know that we have to use shell to attack machine. We can't just do it directly. It's not gonna work never. So we're gonna I'm gonna use a payload. It's a simple payload which is well known, but you could read in the over meta export module. Hello, so I will set up a payload which I do know. Set payload Windows virtual burbine but TCP. Here we go. As you can see the payload is been set means the payload is going of why we're setting a payload basically it's simple to be able to attack the TCP part in the in the in the export machine will be using this to reverse the IP so that we can connect to the machine. Um, basically what will happen if uh, when you do that you tap in show option just to check that everything is all right so show option yes means the well, port is listening the all has the means the target address is here now we're just gonna try to export the machine and see what's up so export here we go as you can see basically what happened the payload has just export this windows xp machine just using the ip address there's nothing there's nothing less we are just using we have just used the ip address and what happened is whenever we have used the ip address to reverse the ip address on meta export it has export the own machine and we have access means 
whenever you use a window xp it might happen with a simple ip address anybody could just hack you no need to infect no need to infect you using link or whatever a simple ip address we could hack you and just to prove that um um you have the machine as you can see it say um uh, windows xp sp3 so basically i think it's the same i don't know long time didn't use windows so as you can see how we go um as you can see it's a windows xp sp3 windows xp sp3 version 2002 so the version is 2002 and here we go we are the machine so in the this was just basic basic tutorial about how we could use IP address to hacking Windows XP but in the next tutorial I will show you what command you could use to be able to disable antivirus bypass the firewall and do much more so stay tuned the channel more tutorial coming soon thank you bye bye